In the skies above the battlefield, Mr. David and John are about to engage in a battle that almost looks like the battle from Return of the Jedi. <laughs> so, my brother decided to come after all. Well, Mr. David, what are you doing? What am I doing? Thwart my plans. Thwarting your plans? Are you? You're damn right I am. Let's see how you like my massive cannon. Open up the tip. Oh my. Ah, him and that stupid laser. Always penetrating my ships. Oh yeah, he penetrated that ship real good. Oh baby. Dude, what the p Sir. Your brother John is heading down to the castle. We just saw him leave the flagship. Oh my gosh. It's always something with that guy. Man, ever since he became red, he became sus. I'm gonna go down and see what he's up to. I know he's the imposter. Die, space Nazis! <laughs> How dare she destroys our tanks? Quick, send in the assassin. We're getting that booty. What up, yo? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Crimson. Yes, it's because of the spike. What was your first clue? Anyway, I'm here for that booty. We are all gonna take that booty. And there's nothing you can do. Bitch, I hope the fuck you do. You'll be a dead son of a bitch, I tell you that. Well, dang. Feisty, aren't we? Several minutes later. <laughs> oh, my. What them golden horns do? Uh, of course I'd run into your sense of being looking ass. Oh, you roasting me, boy? Over here, looking like a red mocking like. <laughs> and boom, he turns gay. Oh, you got jokes, huh? Why don't you transform, big boy? With pleasure. And boom, you became a brawly wannabe. You're just hating because I got good hair. You over here looking like a bowl of Campbell's tomato soup. Your horns are the only thing on your body that's sharp. No wonder Rouge left you. She know that you got nothing down there.